Today when I woke up, I, I was just like bouncing off the walls. I couldn't wait to get out there. And you know, they have these bass boats out here that kind of take you to your fishing and stuff. And I assumed like, okay, you hop in the bass boat, you zip up river, we kind of pick some spots, fish off the bass boat. It, it, was, it was beyond belief. The gig that we were gonna get to do today was we took about a 45 minute boat ride upstream. We also then met up with some other guys who had a skiff and we drug and carried a boat about a mile. Boy, these guys are working hard to get us into some fish. Hope this is worth it. It was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I felt like I was like, you know, an ex you know, an explorer or something, discovering a new branch of the Amazon. My guide, me, and a, and a couple other friends packed this boat up through the jungle and into this lagoon. And it, 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 believe me, it was well worth the trip. I can't believe we're out in the middle of this, shoving a boat through the friggin' jungle in Amazon. I know. This is unbelievable. I don't mind what I don't know. I like that, I like that. This is so cool. I thought we were gonna be fishing this little skinny stuff. We are a monster-sized lagoon. I'm so psyched. Part of what happens when you come here is you really don't know what you're gonna see. There was some other old fisherman's boat there, a couple spears in it and stuff, and it kept on waiting for like blow darts to come whizzing by. But as it turns out, these guys really knew this water. The, the guide here took me through these back mazes and channels, and every time it opened to a lagoon, I was ready to cast and say, oh, no, 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 one more, one more. So we'd go to these back areas. Once we got there, these peacock bass were everywhere. It was absolutely incredible. And, uh, you know, all this pressure builds up. I start thinking, oh man, am I gonna blow the first cast? You know, this guy gonna think I'm a dork. And uh, yeah, we started working some line out. And, uh, you know, the first few casts, I'm leaning forward, I'm like holding my breath, every little slurp of the fly, and I'm like, oh, this is never gonna happen. You know, I'm just bad luck. Wham! Oh, something grabbed. <laughs> a fish came out of Ugh. nowhere. There's a fish. Unbelievable. He smacked that thing once and I missed it. And I hope you can appreciate, uh, after seeing these fish hit, that they absolutely go crazy. Yeah. These fish hit harder than any fish I've ever played or fought in my entire life. I'll get them over here. Wow. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So that's a nicer fish. Is this normal size, or is this small, or is this medium, or big? Small one. When I landed my first peacock bass, the uh, I was really impressed with Beautiful. with the size of their mouth. These fish just were like a giant suction device. One of the main reasons people come to fish for these fish is that they literally have the most ferocious strike of any fish I've ever seen. Um, these fish come up just out of nowhere because the water's a little colored. You can't see them all the time, and they'll just annihilate your fly. There you go, beat me, Mr. Bunny. Look at that. Oh, baby, you know, we got lucky there. He came out of those weeds, out of the tree line, and I didn't get snagged in the trees. Pick up some of this line in a hurry. Not the best way to do it, but... There we go. Uh-oh, 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 okay. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah. Push a pop-up. Boy, I got this, throwing a 10 weight here, and I got this rod just jammed, trying to turn these big, these big fish. Okay, this time, ready? <laughs> Look at that, ow! Holy smokes, that is one big puppy. Look at him, wow. She's not happy. 14. 14 pound? Yeah. Can you believe this? Oh, baby. I think that he said this one was about 14 pounds. Look at the mouth on this. Can you even believe that they take a little fly? They just inhale it. They use their hydraulics to suck that fly in. Look at that fish. This is what we came all the way here to do. This is so cool. Let's let this guy back. Nice and gently. Look at that fish. There it goes. Wow. Thank you so much. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. 
It's hard to go fishing after this. I should stop, you know? <laughs> it's such a nice fish. With the Amazon River weighing in as the largest watershed in the world, it's no wonder peacock bass get so big, so aggressive, and fight just that hard. <laughs>